back again and now with the swimming platform. So at this, this point in time I went to the hardware store and picked up uh, another big board for the, the form like this and then I cut some pieces for the frames because I'm gonna this is of course upside down now so I, I cut some pieces for the frame it's gonna be here on the sides and also I found this um, very nice thing uh, as a cable trunking I think it's called uh, where I'm gonna use um, the, the lid from this one so this part I'm gonna basically just throw away I'm gonna use the lid because that's very nice and very uh, soft to bend and it has a good um, good size so I'm gonna use this uh, and uh, as you can see I cut that one and I ground grinded the, the first part down as well so these ones fit and I'm gonna raise them up and put a nice radius up here and um, hopefully that will that will do because these plastic lids uh, are so good because the polyester and the, the resin and, and the gel coat and everything it doesn't stick to it and that's a good thing well now the form is done as you can see here and um, I've started to lay out the cloth uh, this is 600 by X and uh, I've cut this into three pieces and what you see now is slightly bigger than we need to but I'm gonna adapt this when it's done to the actual bracket to make it fit and you will see that later on so now I'm gonna uh, go ahead and lay down uh, shop trend matting and also biaxle this one layers and layers uh, and I've prepared some strips here but I'm gonna go back and show you here because uh, what I'm gonna do is that First of all, I put in some some uh, gel coat here, two layers. So that's done, and then I'm gonna put in some uh, shop strand matting here, just around the corners because it's gonna be so much easier to to lay that first, and then I go over that when that's done with some biaxle on top of that, and then again some shop strand, and then finally some some uh, biaxle again, and then continue working my way around this form. So first of all, around the corners, all the way around with this one, and then the biaxle. Uh, I can also mention now that we have this um, shop strand matting here that it's um, how I, I actually work with it because it's um, it's so easy to just cut it like this sharp edge but what you really want to do is and here as well but what you really want to do is you want to tear this you want to tear this apart to, to bond it so much better together and uh, you get sort of a seamless seamless uh, result out of the work you do um, so that's just one one small tip so tear everything that you do instead of cutting it uh, but then of course um, that happens too. So this is the the first layers uh, done, and um, yeah, it, it is what it is. N now I have everything done here. The four layers are done. Everything worked out well, uh, but it was a bit of a stress when I had to fiberglass in the, the sides uh, and the corners because it tended to harden a bit quick and I wanted to have it uh, done and still wet when I lay down everything else to bond with it. I usually work with these sort of plastic uh, boxes that I just pick up from you know local candy stores that I just otherwise would throw them away but these are really really good to have uh, and they come in handy so I just weigh everything. Now I put in some um, divinicel as well well or this one and put in some diff on some different weights well uh, you can see three different ways of stabilizing this I guess the the one on the right hand is much better than the other ones but uh, as you can see here uh, I've only have a dividend cell on three different parts so here in the middle or on the sides rather uh, that's where this swimming platform will rest on the bracket I will actually extend the sides a bit on the top of the bracket so we get a good bond and we can glue the, the swinging platform to, as you can see here, to the bracket in a good manner.
that's going to be here and there. Now we're actually getting to the point where we're trying to attach the bracket to the boat and a lot of measuring is ongoing here but it, it looks fine. So this is the, the starting point and uh, it's um, level in any or in every direction here. So what, what I've done is that I've um, uh, laid down a lot of shop strand and uh, by actual cloth uh, on top of each other uh, going from the corners in and from the bottom and in and over the edge and in. Before that I laid down some um, uh, well what you call peanut butter or just a mixture of resin and, and shops and matting and and stuff in the corner so I got a good radius to the glass over so I don't have any sharp edges. But at this point in time it still is stuck on the outside but it's uh, looking good here and I'm just going to keep on feeding in some cloth and a mat here over time and also I'm going to uh, lay down some really big uh, chunky um, stringers from the stringers in the inside of the boat all the way through into the bracket and attach them in the back So basically extending the, the original one all the way in. I've also added in uh, an extra layer of divinacell here and added some more layers of fiberglass to the transom. So it's this thick at the moment. Pretty decent, but uh, I'll keep working on the fiberglassing here. Um, so it's going to be even more strong, of course. This is just the beginning. Uh, actually, I have the stringers lying up here uh, on the top, so uh, this is what they look like. So these ones are going in very, very soon, all the way throughout in here. I don't have that much footage of this, but uh, I think you'll get the hang of it the further down the line we come. Now we've come to a point where I'm actually gonna uh, get the, this part out of the, the mold or the form here and um, that's usually not a big thing but also when it comes to these small radius here I tend to use uh, some sort of Sika Flex or Tech 7 or something that is also some sort of glue which is good because it bonds everything together but it's also hard to get the pieces out of the mold but it, I think it's worth it as, as long as it's not too tricky and too many angles so in this well it, it works fine so I'll let you have it enjoy the ride
I mentioned earlier on that the swimming platform is a bit too big for the bracket and uh, I'm gonna show you now why that is but it looks good it's kind of sturdy and it's, um, it's working fine so now I just gotta fit it into to place and then attach it so what's happening here is that I'm gonna cut these um, uh, along these markings uh, which kind of leave me with a sort of a longer part in the middle which will go just straight into the boat uh, right beneath this one uh, like this which means that I will have a well, short sort of lid on the inside which I can fiberglass on and here also you see how I'm gonna push this in and then you'll get the hang of it had to do some trimming but it, uh, it works fine so what I'm gonna do now uh, is that I'm gonna of course grind off some some uh, gel coat here on the sides but also I'm gonna push in some um, peanut butter again uh, between or beneath the transom here between the transom and the lid so I filled that gap out and then I'm gonna glass everything in and here's the inside it's not a big lip here but still it's it's enough to have something to work against so I get this uh, bonded into the transom when I got to this point and uh, started looking into how to to attach the, the um, swimming platform I actually found some use of the leftovers from the cable trunking so I took this part and uh, made some sort of mold form support maybe and made this out of it so this is exactly what I needed in order to have some good platform to to glue and stick the, the, the swimming platform onto here you can see the stringers as well attached now into the bracket all the way through uh, and they will later on also be attached to the other stringers that is you can't see right now that is just beneath uh, in the boat here I did add some more layers on top of everything uh, at the end before I sort of put the lid on and, and stopped taking pictures but it worked out well 